Hi everyone, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. This is the weekly market outlook for the week of August 27th, and it is going to be a short week. Let me remain, remind you that the trading room will be closed on Friday, and then again it will be closed on Tuesday uh, due to the low volume in the market. All right, let's start our market outlook by taking a look at the major future indices, gold and oil for now. All right, so Imini Dow in uh, the image here, it is uh, trending, in, trading into a continuation pattern. Already had a boost of 76 points to the upside. Not quite trading above uh, Friday's high, but very close to trading above Friday's high. If we're trading into this continuation pattern, the next projected target for the Imini Dow is into the 26,000. Uh, even beyond 26,000, there is a projected target zone of 26,111. So we will be trading most likely in a continuation higher uh, for the m and Dow. Uh, and this is the weekly chart. Coming down to the daily chart, we have just erased uh, this prior pivot high set on August 21st. And we're trading right now towards the 26,000 target. And also, like I mentioned before, there is another projected target uh, very close to uh, the 26,111 uh, zone. So that's going to be the next projected target. So we have two big targets ahead of us. We also have a really nice pullback buy pocket that has developed here throughout last week and a launch pad for our 26K. Uh, let's review the m and S&P 500. Uh, the weekly chart, let's start with the weekly chart. The weekly chart is trading into a continuation pattern. It's actually has actually made a new high uh, right now of 2884.5. Uh, and uh, don't forget that we're trading right now into all new time high territories. New projected targets for the mini S&P are going to be 2890. Uh, That's going to be the next projected target. And then uh, 2896 from a weekly perspective. Let's move on to the daily chart and let's talk about some immediate targets and what we can expect for the trading session on Monday. So we're trading into a continuation pattern. Any pullback is going to be considered viable. We've just erased this prior pivot high with uh, in Friday's trading session and we're set for making new highs. Uh, any pullback by, uh, I'm going to be looking for uh, for pullback buy opportunities. The next support level that I'm going to be looking for is the 2878 uh, zone. Any pullbacks into this area, also a confluence zone, a uh, minor support into this area between 78, 75 and 78. Pullbacks into this area may be viable with the next projected targets into the 2890 zone, 2892.75 and 2897 as immediate targets for Monday. Let's move on to the Imini Nasdaq. Imini Nasdaq had a boost right now at the, um, in the uh, for uh, for the opening session on um, uh, right now on uh, on Sunday night. Uh, we're Nasdaq is actually uh, leading right now with uh, 0.36 percent to the upside. It is trading right now 26 points up, uh, and uh, it's trading into a continuous uh, continuation pattern. Let's move on to the weekly chart. Trading into a continuation pattern, not quite yet setting a new high. 75.30 is the high that was set back here on July 23rd. Keep in mind that this was the old time high. So. Uh, nice, uh, really nice recoup looking at the Dow. Uh, and right now, really nice, uh, really nice pullback by riding the 10 EMA. So notice how we're riding the 10 EMA. Any pullback to the 10 EMA was viable. Really nice to observe this trend development of uh, the 10 EMA on the weekly chart. Projected targets to the upside. We're going to continue to trade higher. And uh, for the for the weekly perspective, 2628 for an immediate target for the week, probably. Uh, let's move on to the daily chart. Daily chart has just erased this prior cluster high at 7500. We had uh, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, we we did have a battle at that 70 uh, 7500. It created so once it created resistance, pulled back. Uh, created resistance again, it got rejected, rotated off the 7400 back to the upside. 
Any pullback now back into the 74.95 is going to be uh, is going to be viable from the daily perspective. We're going to look for a first target into, obviously, into the all-time high that are, was already established. And then we're going to be looking for a project a projection higher, like I mentioned before, is 76.26 to 76.30. Uh, so that is about 100 points from where we are trading right now. So we're trading into a projection area. We're trading into a tradable void after we erase the prior high, which is at 75.30. Right now, we got the boost uh, in uh, from the Sunday uh, from Sunday open, and uh, we're trading a little bit higher right now. Keep it in mind, seventy five hundred pullbacks to the seventy five hundred are still going to be viable. Uh, right now, trading the ten EMA train. So remember, pullbacks into the seventy five hundred are going to be viable. We're also going to be looking at this uh, confluence zone into the seventy four. Uh, 70 if we should get pullbacks into this area again we're going to be looking for reversal signs to carry the price a little bit higher uh let's move on to russell rty uh imini russell 2000 index futures trading right now at 1730 new all-time high so we do have imini s p 500 and russell that are making all-time highs into the sunday session uh projected targets for uh for uh, Russell, moving forward uh, for weekly perspective, we're going to be looking for 1740, 1745.8, and there is a larger projection all the way into the 1776. Uh, so weekly, we're trading into a continuation pattern. We have just erased this cluster high into the 1725 on fr in Friday's trading session. Let's move on to the daily chart. Daily chart, really nice consolidation uh, at the highs at the seven, uh, 17, uh, 1725 zone. We have a really nice bull sandwich. That price exploded to the upside, creating this new high on the trading session today, 1731. And like I said, we're going to be looking for a boost more to the upside. Uh, immediate uh, immediate action uh, and trade ideas, any pullback to the 1727 or 1725 are going to be viable. So we're going to be looking for a continuation higher and any pullback buys most likely off 10 EMA are going to be viable. Let's move on to gold. Gold had a really nice move into the market. We have been in a trade for quite some time now. We have, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, exited our trade, but we're gonna definitely be looking for another entry opportunity. The way we are, uh, the way the weekly chart, it, it, the way the weekly chart is trading right now, uh, 12, 16 is going to be a really interesting area. Now, keep in mind, the price may get rejected or the price may explode from this area. Why? Because we're dealing with heavy resistance that is coming from these prior pivot lows and that is from April uh, 2017 and also these highs from 2017, these lows, I'm sorry, from 2017, that is going to put pressure on price. Keep in mind that we're also trading below the 200 moving average from the weekly chart. We still have a little bit of a tradable void all the way into the 25s and 27s, but if the price is gonna get rejected off of this point, uh, maybe we can move back lower and retest the 1200. Uh, this is going to be a very, very difficult zone. Uh, if we were trading right now and if this pivoting uh, the pivoting effect would have happened around the 200 moving average, just creating a little pick boo above the 200 moving average, I would have been a little bit more bullish on it. But for the moment, we locked in profits and uh, we're ready to, uh, to initiate another trade if the opportunity should come. Uh, I think the uh, daily chart, uh, the daily chart had a really nice in and out reversal. But right now, this is the reason why I closed the trade. We're running into this very strong resistance uh, at the 1215 zone. Uh, if, I think it still has a little bit of room to run into the 25s and perhaps into the 30s. But this is going to be a little bit of, of a problem area for me at this level. So I kind of like a little bit tighter stops in this case with gold. So I'm going to be looking for a better trading opportunity. So no trades as of right now for me, at least in gold. Let's take a look at oil. And oil had such a major boost into last week, had a really nice reversal. Once again, we have this buy pocket developing into a major support level at 64.50. 
also a confluence zone with a 200 moving average and really nice reversal back to the upside into the prior high textbook pullback and uh, the 20 SMA hooked the price, pushed it higher right closely above this 50 moving average back into this prior resistance at the 69, cl very close to the 69.50 zone. Uh, pullbacks into this uh, uh, pullbacks into the $68 zone may represent good buying opportunities for a reversal back up into the 70s. So we really need to develop a, I would say, considerable shelf of support before uh, moving again to the upside. Don't forget that we've had a really nice run through last week's trading. In fact, you could see it right here. Last Sunday, we grinded. So ever since we rolled, we kind of like created this chop chop pattern, this chop box pattern uh, until we actually develop this higher low compared to all this chop lows to the left hand side. Really nice reversal to the upside. Uh, textbook correction of 200 moving average peekaboo. The 20 SMA caught the price, moving it higher based into the 200 moving average and exploded back to the upside. Some of the most phenomenal setups have developed again in the overnight trading session making it very hard for the New York trading session traders to take advantage of this really nice, massive, massive explosive move. Right now, uh, let's take a look at the current cluster where the price is trading in. Uh, we had a high on Friday into the 69.30 zone, pull back into the 20 period moving average. And as you can see, the price is trying to hold into the 68, 68.50. I still think that we may even come in to this uh, 68.15 level, 68 to 68.15 level. We have a prior pivot high that is creating minor support for current price action. So I think that a pullback into the 68 dollars uh, can be foreseen in the overnight trading session and again a rotation off of this point that can push the price back up into the current levels where it is trading and back to the 69 is possible in the upcoming uh upcoming trading session all right by popular request we're going to take a look at copper for the week and we're going to start with the weekly chart brand new week brand new candle and right now we're trading so we've we've had this chop box that uh, since uh, uh, last October, October, since July, that ha that is creating the plot problem area for current price action. Uh, the price has uh, traded into these prior lows from that period of time and then uh, into the 255 and it reversed. Uh, last week, we actually made a new low into the 200 moving average. And this week, any trigger over $2.72 is going to push the price higher. So 272 is the trigger. The stop is gonna be 260, 261. Uh, I would use 261, 261.06 or 261.05. And we can blast a little bit higher into the top of this cluster right here, exactly into the 2.79 zone. 2.79 zone being the first target level. If the price is gonna, uh, is gonna uh, crush this resistance, uh, may have more velocity to continue higher into the 2.88 zone. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is all for tonight. I hope you all have a great, fantastic week ahead. And uh, don't forget that uh, the markets will be closed next Monday. And the trading room, the Trade Out Loud trading room will be closed this Friday. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, see you in the trading room tomorrow morning.